Clarify your intentions. Let all your efforts be directed to something, let it keep that end in view. It's not activity that disturbs people, but false conceptions of things that drive them mad. Seneca, On Tranquility of Mind, 12.5. A 29 of the 48 laws of power is, plan all the way to the end. Robert Greene writes, but planning to the end you will not be overwhelmed by circumstances and you will know when to stop. Gently guide fortune and help determine the future by thinking far ahead. The second habit in the seven habits of highly effective people is, begin with an end in mind. Having an end in mind is no guarantee that you'll reach it no stoic would tolerate that assumption. But not having an end in mind is a guarantee you won't. To the stoics, oesis, false conceptions, are responsible not just for disturbances in the soul but for chaotic and dysfunctional lives and operations. When your efforts are not directed at a cause or a purpose, how will you know what to do day in and day out? How will you know what to say no to and what to say yes to? How will you know when you've had enough, when you've reached your goal, when you've gotten off track, if you've never defined what those things are? The answer is that you cannot. And so you are driven into failure or worse, into madness by the oblivion of directionlessness. T. January 6th. Where, who, what? and why. A person who doesn't know what the universe is, doesn't know where they are. A person who doesn't know their purpose in life doesn't know who they are or what the universe is. A person who doesn't know any one of these things doesn't know why they are here. So what to make of people who seek or avoid the praise of those who have no knowledge of where or who they are. Marcus Aurelius, Meditations, 8.52. He late comedian Mitch Hedberg had a funny story he told in his act. Sitting down for an on-air interview, a radio DJ asked him, so, who are you? In that moment, he had to think, is this guy really deep or did I drive to the wrong station? How often are we asked a simple question like who are you, or what do you do, or where are you from? Considering it a superficial question if we even consider it at all we don't bother with. More than a superficial answer. But, gun to their head, most people couldn't give much in the way of a substantive answer. Could you? Have you taken the time to get clarity about who you are and what you stand for? Or are you too busy? Chasing unimportant things, mimicking the wrong influences, and following disappointing or unfulfilling or non-existent paths